Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. So today we are testing out the Pesky Spectre and the Evershade Stalker. Um, Pesky Spectre, this is an interesting card. It's ephemeral, a last breath ability, you create two copies of me in the enemy deck. And the kind of basis behind this card is that you're going to be able to fill up the enemy's deck with useless cards that they're not going to be able to use. Um, the downside to this card is that they once they get into the, your opponent's deck, then they use them, and then they also are placed into your deck. So if we can create a deck that works around the Pesky Spectre and create cards that are going to help us get more use out of him, um, then that doesn't really matter. And we can do that by including cards like the Shark Chariot, where we, when we attack with, with things like the Pesky Spectre, this is going to be resurrected and attack again as well after it's died. So kind of a cool interaction. Uh, my initial impressions of Pesky Spectre it does not really affect as much as you would think it is. Um, I think in like the 10 games I've played, I've had the opponent draw the Pesky Spectre and play it maybe once, once or twice, not too often. So like in reality, it doesn't really affect them that much. Now, if I created a deck that was specifically built around producing as many of these guys as possible, then maybe, so like a counterfeit copies deck in Piltover is on, maybe then it would have a little bit more, you know, impact on the opponent's deck. But as it is, um, unless you draw like all three of these cards right off the bat, it's really not going to affect them that much. And this is this is a card that gets a lot of use with the with the Shark Chariot anyway, and also like um, through through a, a means to play the Blighted Caretaker. So, yeah, in my opinion, it's not as, um, like, influential in uh, the game as you, maybe we would want it to be, but you also don't want it to be so trolly that, <laughs> that you can't play any of your own cards as well. So, um, at the moment, it's, it's not as strong as it would initially appear. All right, so this is a Lucian and a Callista deck. So we can actually level these two up really, really quickly in this deck with the amount of cards that we have and the type of support that we have as well. So Pesky Spectre, we're also running two Evershade Stalkers. This is more of a late game card, actually. We can fill up our board pretty efficiently. And we've got two Soul Shepherds, so this is Ephemeral. It's getting buffed. We can put a whole bunch of these cards down, get them to, you know, three attack, four attack. We've got two Soul Shepherds down by chance, but um, we can deal quite a bit of damage. And on top of that, they're Ephemeral, so if Lucian's leveled up every time, well, the first time one of them dies, then we're going to be able to rally and just put more of them down, which is cool again. All right, we got Haunted Relic. This can be an automatic level up for Callista, so we're running three of those. Um, it's another Shark Chariot enabler on our offensive turn as well. We have card draw with Stalking Shadows and with Glimpse Beyond as basically our main form of card draw, as well as the Vanguard Redeemer. We've got two of those, so just trying to, trying to cycle through our deck as well. Um, and we're running two Relentless Pursuits for even more rallies, and we can deal quite a bit of damage resurrecting our Ephemeral units and getting more and more use out of um, the Ephemeral keyword. So pretty cool. Um, dealing a, quite a bit of damage in this deck. Um, yeah, and I guess that's about it. We are finishing off the game with the Neverglade Collector, so that's a little bit more reach for us. Only two of those guys can also provide some healing around the mid-game if we need it. We've got plenty of ephemeral cards, so a little extra reach, a little extra healing. Um, this is definitely not a tier 1 deck, but it is super fun to play. Um, I enjoy rallying with Lucian and, you know, just kind of overwhelming the board with ephemeral units and making it really hard for the for the enemy to ignore them. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. We're going against Draven. Riven. 2-3 cost champions with Piltovers on. So I wouldn't be surprised if they've got... Um, I don't like that. If they've got Tribeam and Probulator. I think we're going to look for our champions. There we go. Get Lucian for turn two, which is good. So one off of Encroaching Shadows. I don't really like to see that this early. Alright, let's go ahead and go for Lucian. If he's got something like Thermogenic Beam, it's a pretty good time for him to use it. Okay. Take out that guy, it's fine. Two Lucians in a row.
Hmm. Challenger's not a big deal. Not the best hand here. Man, this is like probably the worst card that we could get. Let's go ahead with Bark Beast, I guess. Um, which one's the ephemeral one? We'll put out the ephemeral one to block. It's not gonna go. Alright, we'll put out the second one then. Shark Chariot, that's pretty good. Let's go to a Shark Chariot. <clears throat> I hate how this still gives him a unit. Like... It's so annoying, actually. I'm not going to use that yet. Like, even if you don't block it, it will still give them the unit. I don't like that interaction at all. Alright, we get another Stalking Shadows, which is pretty good. <clears throat> See if he's nervous to block with this. Or to attack with the Riven, I mean. No, he's not going to be now. I kind of bet that's the only card he's going to attack with. He got all three of them. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to block this guy. Help our Lucian a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um... Shark Chariot, Blighted Caretaker. I think this is actually pretty good. And we're just going to let that go. Alright, Callista's good as well. <clears throat> Alright, so let's start with Pesky Spectre here. Just using Aftershock. I think this is fine. I'm okay with letting this go through. We're going to play Callista. Of course. Well, actually, this is still fine. Lighted Caretaker. Another blighted caretaker. Wow. Hey, right, so he's gonna level up his ribbon. <clears throat> it's fine. Let's see if we can get down our Lucian or something here. Slow speed spell though. It's gonna be a lot of damage.
Is this one the ephemeral one? Yeah. We're okay with going like this then. A lot of damage. All right, let's go ahead and play Lucian here. I'll find vengeance on my own. We really want to draw a unit with this. Something like a. An Evershade Stalker actually will be fine. Just because we want to be able to use the Blighted Caretaker. Ooh, Soul Shepherd's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to start with Soul Shepherd. Evershade Stalker. How do we want to do this? We're pulling Captain Theron because I want to get the I want to keep this sapling for the um we'll level up Lucian and then we're going to get a um we are going to get a a rally. That's why I'm doing this like this. So Lucian levels up. Get the rally, and he should realize that he's gonna lose. Yeah. All right, there we go. Got the. That was uh, ordering was pretty important there at the end. I, I'm pretty happy with how that went through, and <laughs> we ended up getting the win there as well. So, um, yeah, not too shabby, I'd say.